Okay, today we're going to learn how to extract an audio file from an audio CD and convert it into an MP3 for streaming on the web. Today we're going to convert a sermon that is going to be put on itspreachingtime.com and this is going to be used for our example. The first thing we want to do is come up here to the file menu and then we're going to come down to extract audio from CD. And now we're going to see a screen pops up, uh, the little explorer, and the first thing we want to look at is this drive uh, drop down menu here. And we're going to pick our drive, make sure we have the right one picked that has our audio CD in it. The next thing we look at is right up here above is where our uh, audio files are at. And just for instance, if we don't have, um, uh, if we're not sure which the title is, it just says audio, we might click play and let it play for just a, a couple of seconds to see what it is. And in, in this case, it, it does sound like a sermon, so we're going to go ahead and hit stop and it's the right one that we want, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. What's going to happen now is it's going to start extracting that audio file from that CD and uh, get it ready for us to work with. And this is going to take just a few minutes, so we're going to go ahead and uh, stop this, uh, this tutorial, and we'll come back as soon as that gets done. OK, uh, we're back, and our uh, extraction has completed. And if you notice up here in this uh, little screen, you see... Um, that there are two waveforms, and these are waveforms here. This is how the computer uh, translates the, the sound file. And we have two, one's for left and one's for right. Those are two stereo channels, and of course stereo means uh, that we have two waveforms. And But what we're going to do is convert this into a mono uh, MP3 file that is uh, going to be a little bit smaller, uh, but still good quality, so it'll stream on the internet. And so to do that, uh, first, we're going to click the File button, and we're going to come down and we're going to change some properties on this uh, so that uh, this stuff gets embedded into the MP3. And it won't mean a whole lot when it's just on your computer, but when it gets streamed on the Internet or, or anywhere, even played in your media player on your computer, this information shows up. So what we'll start with is the title here, and that is Not Ashamed is the sermon that we're doing. And the artist is Dr. Derek Collins. And the copyright will put 2008 for the year. And uh, down here in the comment section, right down here, you can put all kinds of stuff, uh, you know, just uh, anything that doesn't have a feel for it. And in this case, we're going to put the scripture reference for this sermon, and that is Romans chapter 1, verse 15 through 17. And since I know it, we'll also put the date that it was preached, uh, 08, uh, 24 in 2008 so we know that that was the date that it was preached and uh, since we're when we're happy with what we have here and we know that that's the information we need on there we're going to hit the apply button and that will save this information to the file and then we'll hit the OK to finalize and if you notice the name the title in this screen changed right here and it changed to that name and so now what we want to do is go ahead and finish the conversion and we're going to hit, hit the file tab again and hit save now you can also click this little disk button here. It'll do the same thing and open this window up. If you notice, we have our file name here, which is the title that we gave it, and which will also be the file name. So now we want to choose a place on our computer where we want to save this file, uh, where we can access it later. And in this case, I've got in the My Documents folder, I've created a folder named MP3 Sermons. And that's where we're going to place this folder. Now also what you want to do is I've already created a template to get the right amount of size and the right amount of speed for this uh, stream, for this MP3, so it streams, it still has good sound quality, and it still has a, um, you know, a, a small enough file size where it doesn't take a long time to load on the Internet. And for this, I've done 40 kilobytes per second and 22,050 hertz, and I've also set that to mono. Now, you probably won't have this preset in your uh, system yet, but what I had to do is I went to the custom section, and I played around with a few, and this one come out about the best for file size and quality. So you'll have to go to the custom section and make one for this. And you can always scroll back to this section to go back over this uh, so that you know what uh, input to put in that custom file setting for that template. Now that we're done with that, we'll go up here to this uh, Save button, and this is going to start the process of converting that audio file to the MP3 and saving it on our computer. 
Now, as you can see, the process has started, and we'll go ahead and uh, give it just a few seconds to uh, convert, and we'll come back and see what our, our finished file looks like. Okay, uh, now that it's, it is converted successfully from the audio file to the MP3, again, we see that we went to mono from stereo, so we only have one waveform now. Now, typically, when you take this audio uh, from a, like a sermon like we're doing here, a lot of times there's a little bit on the beginning or a little bit on the end or, or maybe even some silent spaces in between that you need to uh, uh, cut, cut out or, or, or edit or something like that and probably want to do that before you actually do the conversion. That way you don't have to mess with the MP3 file later. In this case, this one has already been edited uh, before it even got put on the audio CD, so we're not going to have to deal with any of that. Uh, but this is where it's at. And now um, you can put this on the Internet and stream it and do whatever you need to do with it.